Hello, Orchid friends. Welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day, staying healthy, and staying safe. Today we have a Phalaenopsis Sogo Vivian. I have three in my collection, and today I am going to talk about the largest one of the three. And I think I recently talked about the smallest one. Um, the reason I have three, just simply because uh, I came across them in grocery store. What well, the smallest one was purchased at um, a Home Depot in Los Angeles when I was on vacation. And then this one and the medium one, the one in the middle, um, I, I think I purchased them at Trader Joe's locally. This largest one is um, by far um, the most vigorous bloomer of the three. And it also has a very, I guess, branchy capability. If you look at the spike, there are multiple branches, which really tells me that um, next time, I should try to prop, you know, use a stick to stake the flower spike so it will grow upwards a little bit. Because later you're going to see, yes, it does look like a clump of flower, but the display, because it has so many flower, I think it would look a little better if it's the flower spike is upright a little bit more and then have that cascade versus just kind of coming out straight and then going down almost like a gonzo's nose but anyway i have three this is the largest one and um, this year compared to la its last bloom cycle it it's giving me even more flowers um i haven't repotted this orchid yet but i um at the end of this this video, you'll see that after this bloom cycle, I did decide to give it a repot, and you'll see later that how I did it. Um, but for this orchid, it's very hardy. In fact, um, I rarely do anything special. I haven't done anything special actually. Um, every time this orchid receives quarter cup of water. And this quarter cup of water already has fertilizer um, in it already. And I usually, for most of my orchids, it's 25%. That's it. It's 25% of fertilizer, um, quarter strength. I don't do, I don't rare, I don't usually like to give my orchid full strength, full dosage, because um, I know some orchids brew. Some orchids roots are more sensitive and if you do full string sometimes, you know, you risk burning the orchid roots unless in between your fertilization uh, regimen, you always do a really good job flushing orchids, uh, the roots, the medium, the media uh, with just water. Um, and I, I don't really flush them with running water, I instead I soak them. And that has worked relatively well, but it's not 100% because when you use running water to flush orchid roots and media, um, the water actually goes out much quicker um, to be able to, you know, remove excess salt and remove unwanted um, substance, dead tissues, maybe dead bugs, whatever. But I using this, I, but I use the soaking method, which has been pretty okay because you know every time I soak the orchid and then I will use my TDS meter to test the PPM and I can tell you it's always very very high like anywhere between 400 and 500 um, so that tells me once a month is probably good but you know if I do it more than once a month that also means this uh, my orchids will only receive because I, I soak my orchid at, at the end of the month but if I want to do every other week to soak the orchids, that also means my orchids will only get two fertilizer um, session, which I believe is not enough. So, so far, so good. Um, other than that, this orchid is pretty hardy. Um, I haven't done anything special. And it's it always reblooms for me every single year, except this year, it's giving me even more blooms. 
The price for these orchids are never expensive. This one might have been $7.99 or $8.99 because it is a medium-sized orchid. Um, otherwise, for miniature orchid at Trader Joe's, typically is $6.99 or $5.99. Um, for my other two, I also got them below $7.00. They're relatively inexpensive, even though it's not, you, know, you don't always see them readily available at grocery stores, but it's not possible. It's not impossible. Um, I've seen this orchid being sold on eBay for like 2025. I don't know about you, but uh, you know, knowing that I can get this orchid for seven dollars at grocery stores. I would just wait if you don't already have one. Don't spend that kind of money on eBay. I know somebody's not gonna like what I say, but honestly, I think some of the stuff being sold on eBay um, aren't really that reasonable. I mean, the price is really, I mean, it's, you know, people are price gouging. Um, <laughs> another example, if I say this, I know some people is gonna, you know, attack me for it. But another example would be Leonoro being sold at eBay for like $100 per plant. And it's not even a mature sized plant. To me, that's like a joke. Yes, I get it because the scarcities of the price is higher. But come on, $100 per plant? I mean, do you really have you want to spend that kind of money on one orchid that may or may not bloom because it's not even a mature size? And what if you kill it before it even becomes mature? <laughs> Anyway, back to this orchid. So after the bloom, um, after the flowers are done, I decided to give it a repot because, well, I haven't repotted this orchid also because that this orchid has two relatively long aerial roots that um, I didn't get to push them into the medium in time. By the way, the original medium is, well, I should say media because it's a mixture of sphagnum moss and uh, bark chips. So this is the repot. I decided to use in organic media, so it's a mixture of manto clay and hydrocorn. Um, the ratio really is about one to one. And then um, I don't, I didn't use, I used the same container. Um, and based on the amount of roots, I think this container is perfect. So inside a media, uh, inside a container, I think the roots takes up about sixty percent, and then the media, media is about forty percent. Um, this is what it looked like and I love the small ventilation holes on the sides and then just went ahead and put it back into the uh, 12 ounce transparent plastic container and put the tag in of course. So overall, I'm happy with this orchid. Next bloom season, I have high hopes for this orchid and I'll definitely make a video and give you an update on it. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao!